and of course you must extend to Kompot province and Kompot province have much more offer from the seashore quiet uh, sea line and then you have the waterfall right uh, I mean the two right and also you have these uh, uh, break yes. uh, uh, nearby the Kompot city but ultimately it's the Kompot mountain as yes. you can see right now it's, <laughs> it's like a haven <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, good morning, sir, and uh, thank you for being here at the Boko Hotel, sir, uh, Tan Su Sokha, in on top of the Mount Boko today. And today it's uh, quite sunny and a bit cloudy, sir, and the wind is very favorable for tourists, sir. Uh, sir, because uh, you play a very significant role in the development of uh, the mountain, and uh, I just want to ask you a bit uh, about the development here, sir. Um, I mean, for the last uh, century, you know, uh, the French colonial government, they like it here. They established their development here. The kings were also here. And now your development group is also here, sir. So can you tell us a bit about, you know, what is, you know, what makes Boko so special that, you know, many, many groups come here to, to stay and to, to, develop, to de develop, sir? Um, again, I think there's quite, okay, of course, first of all, thank you very much for um, letting uh, me have an opportunity to be explained how special about Boko. Yes, sir. Uh, again, uh, my name is Sopetra, Sai Sopetra, and I represent a head of sales and marketing of uh, Sokha uh, Hotels and Resort. Yes, sir. Um, so first of all, Boko, the special about the Boko is, I would say there's a four pillar, the special. Number one would be the historical of Boko. The history of Boko is was uh, there. It's over 100 years ago. Yes, sir. Right, and it still remain here. And our company working very hard to keep the history to where it is. And of course, the history is including our uh, the King Dynasty of Pre Maniwung. Yes, sir. Uh, which is there is his um, uh, uh, resident uh, house resident place as well as the um, the second of dynasty of Pre Norodom there also his uh, resident uh, place here as well uh, and also there are many other buildings that uh, during the French colonial that they built this location yes sir yeah and again the number two is why would the French colonial and our uh, late king father uh, they they are been choosing this place to be uh, their special place, right? So the second thing would be about uh, health. health, because yes, as a French colonial, they when they found this place, they recognize and they also been uh, wrote a story and a book that this uh, Boko is a health station, which means it uh, can be naturally healing. Um, in terms of uh, the breathing, uh, the lung, and also help the blood circulation and also developing a red blood cell, which yes. is help uh, very good for, of course, for, uh, for young um, uh, people and as well as the senior people as well. And of course, more importantly, the senior people here. So the, the main uh, prospect of coming here is that the nature can bring human health better by staying here for an extended period of time, sir. That is correct. That yes, is sir. correct. And of course, uh, there is a history about this as well. Um, the actual facts and the actual facts and the 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 the, the story about uh, health uh, development uh, of a uh, uh, been 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 in in writing by the one of the doctor. Uh, French doctor uh, about this uh, health on Boko Mountain. Yes, so there actually uh, there, there's a story about this. Um, actually, we also have the record mm -hmm. uh, by that. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, sir, <coughs> can you tell us a bit, maybe briefly, about your current project on top of Boko, and maybe uh, you know uh, your project for the near future? Just briefly a bit uh, for for the. Uh, before I go, that I also would like to add that uh, beside, of course, the. Uh, special about this place, yes, uh, not just the history and the health station, but there are so many places that uh, a lot of uh, people that they are coming here to in terms of religious and belief. So uh, there is uh, 
our Cambodian people, they're coming here, they actually come here praying yes. uh, for hope and help that they are need in terms of uh, helping in terms of financial, yes, family matter, maybe study or health oh. to, to pray. And there's many places that they can actually, of course, pray and as well as a meditation. Yes. So that is another factor also. So come back to your uh, question. Um, yes, to add on, uh, add on the, the future development, we're not going to keep what we have here, that we, we're working very hard to keep what we have. But at the same time, we will be adding on what is in the future. So in order to attract more um, uh, tourists, so we want to uh, looking at to developing more in terms of we call a theme park, theme uh, park. golf course. Um, uh, we call senior resort, which is a new word for uh, senior people that they can come to Boko Mountain. Uh, they can enjoy, they stay longer. You mean like for their retirement? Yeah, for like retirement, yeah, yes. yes, yes. Uh, and, and of course, beside that, we also have more many other entertainment for uh, 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 junior, for youngster, uh, and also for senior people as well, such as uh, theme park, casino, uh, natural park, yes, uh, uh, something that uh, more uh, eco-tourism also. Yes, sir. so by uh, saying what you have, you've said yesterday, so you, you all uh, welcome domestic investment and also foreign investment, all are welcome here. Sir. Oh, yes, uh, we, we, we highly encourage, you know, uh, the previous government, they, they're working very hard uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure, uh, such as, uh, you know, road, bridge, um, you know, port, uh, airport, railway, right? So they work out, but of course with the new government now, uh, they, they also pushing so hard to get more uh, investor to come in. So we are part of the, uh, part of the, the role that we need to be able to adopt and then uh, following the uh, government uh, guideline to be able to attract more investor. So yes, uh, Boko Mountain uh, is one of the best place yes, to attract to we welcome the investor to come and invest and as you can see now uh, the government of Cambodia they're working very hard to put in infrastructure Boko Mountain in terms of accessibility there are many a uh, road which is a very good road now not not, not like, like before, before. Yes, very good road. we have road number three road number 41 now they are fixing also uh, they're working very hard to fixing that um, then uh, road number four and also express uh, the express, express highway, highway. Right? Yes, highway right and of course you can see there is a commercial port and the tourist port nearby the mountain mm -hmm. and ultimately uh, our government also working to fixing the national road number three from Comport to uh, Weiring yeah. right so this road it will connect us from Boko mountain to the airport in Sihanouk wheel we will, I think the distance about seven, 73, 75 uh, kilometers, which is about probably one, uh, one and a half hour for traveling. So, um, so with this, I think it's a very important uh, for accessibility to attract more investor. And of course, when the investor coming here, they will attract more traveler to come in as well. So you can have the local uh, Cambodian people, they can travel faster number one and then the foreigner they also can come to a tourist port yes airport of course the railway as well so logistic yes. is the first thing that you you need to assess yes yes exactly yes, and of course uh, uh you know they are slowly development and uh, we are really uh, keen to see this uh, uh finish very soon and that's that's uh, we we're very happy about that also we wish to invite or not just the international but also especially our local uh, can come and invest together in Boko Mountain from a small scale investment to a medium investment and to a largest investment uh, proportion. So what is a small investment on Boko Mountain is we can start with a small lot of land and all by a flat house or by a villa house for holiday. And of course, in the future, the 
capital gain of this uh, land as well as the houses will definitely increase in the next uh, four or five years in the future. The medium size, we can looking at a bigger land from one hectare of land to five hectare to 10 hectare of land. But at the same time, we also have a commercial land as well as a, a, a agriculture land as well for a medium size investment. Furthermore, um, the largest investment we are welcome to be partnership with our company um, to make something bigger and as well as they can own the land here for, for local but also for international investor to come own the land um, by uh, investing into certain uh, natural resort, uh, re resort or something that um, can be an entertain, uh, entertainment areas that can be attract both a local and international uh, visitor for Buko Mountain. Yes sir, so uh, right now we are standing here in the morning and of course the cloud is all over the place and yep. you know, uh, nature at Buku is uh, the prominent feature that people want to come here. Uh, we don't get that in Phnom Penh at all. Exactly. Uh, yeah. But you talk about the uh, development also sir, but in case if you can highlight us a bit, you know, when nature is that great and development is, you know, something that needs to be done, you know, nevertheless, how do you balance between development and, you know, retaining nature, sir? And at the same time, you know, your investment is a long-term project, yeah. uh, maybe a century old, something like that. <coughs> and climate change is also a issue that the world is facing. Yeah. So do you feel concerned about climate change? And again, so how do you balance between development and nature, sir? Uh, again, I, I, we've been always mentioned is um, our, our, our core development in uh, on Boko Mountain is all about nature yes, and and about the uh, environment and that's why we are working very hard not just by our expertise in the company but we are working with a, a master plan drawer um, with the uh, US company and at the same time they also implementing a international environment guideline yes, in terms of development in terms of researching what place to build and what not to build um, more importantly, we're also working with a, our Ministry uh, of Environment yes, and sir. other ministry as well to ensure that we also have a Cambodian min a Ministry of Environment guideline to be able to working with them hand on hand to uh, not to affect the climate change. Again, give you an example. Boko Mountain, the whole Boko Mountain is approximately 158 thousand hectare yes, sir. right and our uh, we have a permission uh, by royal government of Cambodia to developing only 41,000 hectare so that's equal to 20% of development yes, sir. yet with this 20% of development so we have imagine imagine this is this is uh, 158,000 right so we have only 20% that's really development. So the rest are kept. The, the rest, nature, yes, nature. the rest nature. Yes. The rest yes. nature, and in that 70 percent, there are many places that we have to keep as a nature as well. Not just everything have to be built on, right? So totally, we are looking probably less than twenty percent of uh, footprint of building. So imagine the whole mountain. We are building only about twenty percent. So again, Boko. Our DNA of Boko is about nature, nature, and nature. So we are, our core development is primary focus on that. Yes, yeah. So if we lost that DNA and lost that core, it's all about city again. Man. Even though it's called city Boko, but there is a certain place that we have an international guideline of building as well as a local government guideline to be able to build that. Yes, sir. Uh, following to the next question, I just sorry. May, maybe uh, I want course. to add also. Yes, yes I think uh, 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 you know our uh, Cambodian people. Yes, they have the concern, and mm. I I agree with them. Uh, everybody is concerned about uh, uh, environment. Not just Cambodian people, but uh, people around the world, uh, world leader, and of course our our current prime minister, 
uh, some light and as well as the previous our uh, uh, previous prime minister that he, he also concerned about uh, climate as well so that's why um, yes because when 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 they might not understand fully what we have been doing follow the international guideline of environment as well as the local guideline environment yes they have concern but after they understand what we are doing here I'm sure their concern will be probably uh, not so much anymore yes sir uh, so the next question I would like to focus a bit on the historical side because of course I mean we don't have ancient monument like Boku yep. but we do have you know monument that has a history and quite a good history back uh, in the last century sir. Yep. So we have the church yep. and we have some of the residents that are still abandoned yes. <coughs> but uh, one of the hotel built by the French were restored which yep. is uh, to its functional form. Yep. So for, for your plans, uh, maybe uh, just uh, you know, roughly, uh, do you have any plan to restore you know, the, the building to its uh, you know, former functional uh, uh, duty or maybe you turn them into a museum or maybe you want to keep them just like that in order to, you know, to retain you know, what has happened that you know, has happened, mm. let's say. Um, our company and of course un under our Nhao uh, Nha uh, Kong, he's our uh, head of a company. Uh, he carefully and of course he also likes something is been be a heritage, yes, it's sir. history. He always love to keep something as it is. And but at the same time, if have have opportunity and permission allowed for him to uh, maintain maintain uh, what as as it formed before but to really uh, upgrade it as more a uh, more usable mm -hmm. the facility he will do so for example for the church he kept that as for um, for the church community to be able to uh, able to, to you know to take care of it number one uh, as the Leboko palace because he had permission and then he like Tunis he actually invest over 10 million dollars just to uh, maintain as it is and it used to be a hotel but yes. now he keep it as a hotel as well he doesn't yes. want to change to anything else but uh, there is certain a couple building that are really very in a very bad shape yes, and sir. we did not touch it but it we, we keep it as it is for the past uh, 20 years uh, but unfortunately it fell down itself mm. uh, because of the wind of the you know the sun and everything else uh, then then we just let as it is but as you can see there are so many places such as um, uh, the Nat class mile that we keep it as it is now. So we are be able to, as long as we have a direction and permission from the royal palace, then we be able to assist and help in the matter of their direction. But at the moment, what we can able to do is just to basically to clean up in terms of the garden and, and maybe grass, some grass yeah, and things yeah. like that. Yes. And yes, uh, another prominent feature on Boku is the uh, the statue of Yimau. Yes. And also, you know, it's a spiritual statue. Yes. And you also plan to, you know, create more, let's say, meditation center, yeah. a bit of a spiritual <coughs> thing yeah. also. <coughs> and in the future, uh, you will, uh, now and, and for the future, you will, uh, you know, uh, build the 108 meter statue of Buddha, sir. So uh, uh, all of this uh, spiritual aspect, um, why Boku is suitable for for this uh, this sector of uh, tourism? Yeah, yeah, like like I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, the, the 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 special about Boko, why why uh, you know tourism, uh, sh you know tourists should be able to come here and visit. So again, number one is history, uh, number two the uh, the accessibility, and ultimately the opportunity for investment, right? Mm. Um, but I will mention that about investment later on also, <coughs> and number four. Is about spiritual, about belief. So um, our chairman was, he mentioned also this is part of a faith. Right. Uh, yes. uh, oh. Like uh, the the uh, uh, chairman also mentioned yesterday, it been mentioned already, is about Chai uh, uh, So he see the place as a very uh, belief place uh, for praying and meditation as uh, been like that for probably hundreds of years. Uh, people coming here for prayer and meditation at that location. Yes, sir. So, at some point, that he feel that there should be a, um, a proper place for a proper place me yes, for yes. meditation, pro preput uh, to be there. And of course, you know, uh, he vision to have this preput padema is gonna put our country, our Cambodia, in the tourism map and also religi uh, religious religious uh, in the world map. 
So that means that every, not just a tourist who are believe in, in, in Buddhist, but any believer, be believer in any religious, they also can come and see and, and, and you know, take a look. So it's a, it's a must place visit in a lifetime. So that's his vision. And ultimately is to create again, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the place can, can attract more visitors. And of course, the, when the visitor come, they also can use our transportation. They can go to our local shop. They can also stay at uh, uh, our hotel, but at the same time, but also stay at our, uh, our uh, you know, um, people in the comfort hotel. So it basically, there is belief at the same time, but they're creating a lot of economic for entire uh, uh, comfort province as well as uh, Cambodia. Yes, sir. Uh because uh, you know, in every places like uh, you know Siem Reap or maybe Battambong, there are like a different uh, you know let's say sightseeing you know because uh, it it has to cater with different uh, tourists. Yeah. So Western tourists they like their own you know way of uh, you know coming to see the, the places. Mm -hmm. Cambodian tourists they you know they have their own place to come and see uh, you know the places. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at Bogo, you know uh, apart from the nature itself, do you have any you know like a uh, plan to to you know to to serve the Western tourists and the Cambodian tourists, you know? For example, museum, mm -hmm. the Western tourists might like it more yeah. and Cambodian tourists, they might, you know, like something else. So is there any, you know, separation that, you know, you want to cater specifically to each tourist? Sir? We look, as, as, uh, because as, as myself and also as our company, uh, we, we've been running a uh, hospitality, which means the hotels, yes, for, uh, we consider as a uh, biggest hotels operator yes, sir. or the probably the oldest group hotels um, operator in Cambodia um, and again we are experienced from leisure market uh, to a business traveler as well as a mice traveler as of course a wedding as well so we are the most uh, probably experienced um, that's why we have now we have seven hotels and yes, over 5,000 room mm. in Cambodia. Uh, as we understand the tourism, it's not about, uh, you know, niche. They, uh, we, we don't specifically target um, any, demographic, an, any no. demographic. No. So yeah. uh, what we are trying to create is that whether local and international, they can actually enjoy, mm. enjoy what is the nature of Boko Mountain can offer. Yes, and sir. this is, again, from the history to the nature and, of course, to the believer. Yeah. But the next set, as we know, that when, um, when the market is ready, we are going to be developing, extending our development into more a, we call, a man-made tourism, which is more a theme park, probably more uh, entertainment, uh, cable car and things like something that. Something like Genting in Malaysia. Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So when when the when the our logistic uh, you know uh, line ready, when the market is ready, when the airline there's more airline coming in ready. But now our airport very ready because uh, our government working very hard to have a big airport in Siem Reap, a very big airport in uh, Phnom Penh, right? So in the next uh, few years we're gonna be ready for that. Uh, we call man-made tourism as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the last question also. Um, how do you view Boko in your foreseeable future, sir? Let's say 20 years, 30 years, something like that, sir. Um, currently, um, we as, as a hotel operator, we, when we every year we go going to oversee all our sales. We have, uh, at the moment, we have about, uh, uh, about 30 to 40 people in sales uh, in all the hotels. And we, in, we have a strategy and a program for all our sales to go different country follow of course following um, uh, Ministry of Tourism because yes, they have a trade show sell uh, mis mission and thing like that um, um, we, we usually uh, we go into overseas over 10 times mm -hmm. in different country like such as Korea Japan uh, Berlin uh, German yes, uh, sometimes we go to US um, Australia uh, Vietnam Thai um, Laos uh, to basically to promote, not just promote our hotel, of course, but we promote entire country. So uh, we use, we, we've been promoting, and in the future we're probably doing similar thing, been promoting by um, the destination 
uh, in Siem Reap is a number one destination if you wish to come and, and to see the history go, uh, the monument, uh, the seven wonder of the world, right? But you must extend yourself, stay to Phnom Penh to see the nightlife, to see what is the commercial and economic yes, and yes. powerhouse of Cambodia, how the people are so friendly, not just in Siem Reap, but in, 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 in Phnom Penh, our Cambodian people is so friendly that one of the most friendly people in probably in Asia that one of the I think one of the the, 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 the trip advisor they mentioned yes, sir. that's number one and number two you can you can try our cuisine Cambodian cuisine um, in Phnom Penh but at the same time most our uh, population in Phnom Penh can speak English can be able to communicate and you don't see the most of the Southeast Asia to be able to as much as communicate in English as in Phnom Penh of course but also in Siem Reap but to extend from that the number three would be a uh, Sihanu wheel <laughs> right? okay. because we have yes. beau the most beautiful bay club in the world yes, sir. and why are you not coming to see and plus it doesn't have so much footprint as other Asian country right and on top of that, there are so many untouched islands that you can do an island hopping and see so un many untouched things, right? So that's the third destination. And of course, you must extend to Kompot province. And Kompot province have much more offer from the seashore, quiet uh, sea line. The elevation? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, uh, the sea line. Yes. And then you have the waterfall, right? Uh, I mean, the two. Right, and also you have these uh, uh, break yes. uh, uh, nearby the Kompot city, but ultimately it's the Kompot mountain, as yes, you sir. can see right now. It's, <laughs> it's like a haven, <laughs> right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then it's so much offer in Cambodia, uh, and of course, ultimately we've been promoting that you must come to this four destination at least, at yes. least, and then you can extend to other locations like the Kompong Chnang or Kompong Cham and everything else, yes. right? And of course, our logistic now, the road is very good as well. Um, uh, so again, we, as a Sokai Hotel and as a sales uh, team, we've been promoting not just our hotel, but we promote entire country to, to people as well. We recommendation in terms of the airline, how you can connect in, uh, who is our airline partner. And in terms of bus, now we also have the bus connection. You have, how do you get on Tuk Tuk? You know, how that is. So there's many things that we want. And of course, the F&B area, which is a, a, a restaurant. Oh. Yeah, because we have a great cuisine uh, for our Cambodian as well. So um, again, for our future to, to, to more, we, we need to be have, again, our strategy is to promote, of course, as entire country, but as well as a Sokka Hotel as a leader of hospitality in Cambodia. So it's all intertwined work. Then. Yes, we That's have it. to do that because we, we cannot just stand alone and work on that. And we're hoping now there is a lot of, uh, we have a great airport that's uh, been been operating and then we're looking at now we have uh, air asia which is a uh, small domestic more reliable airline for our domestic route so again it come back to we've been promoting for the past almost uh, 15 year for uh from basically all the province connecting to the city but now we have reliable uh, air asia that can be in, in connected all the traveler not just our local local traveler but also international to stay longer in Cambodia.